We have in our second reading, Paul continuing to write to the church in Rome. He says, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercy of God, again, the mercy of God, we think of nice, happy things, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Because God is merciful, sacrifice everything. If we read the lives of the saints, especially some of the longer texts of their biographies, we see that all of them in their own way wrestled with doing what God wanted them to do. It wasn't always easy. They had their moments of doubt, their moments of struggle. We talked about desolation a couple of weeks ago. That's what this is. Some version of desolation where we have to choose God because we love him. Not because it's easy. Not because it's necessarily what we want to do in that moment. We choose it because we know that it's what is good for us. And that's what we in the end want. Jesus tells us very clearly that to choose him means picking up our cross and following after him. The cross is something that we've sort of whitewashed in our minds. We've made it much more simple than it really is because we see the redemption that Jesus offers us through the cross. What it ultimately is, is one of the worst ways we've ever found to kill anybody. Very slow, very painful. It was so terrible that it came up with its own word of suffering, excruciating, which means from the cross. And so when Jesus says, if you want to follow me, he says, pick up the worst possible suffering you can possibly imagine, take it on yourself and come after me. The promise isn't for an easy life here. It's for the eternal life. That's what we're in this for. 